In this video, we are going to see how to archive a file in Cloud Convert and upload the files on Google Drive. So let's say that you are using Google Sheet as a spreadsheet where you have the URL of all the new files. And then what you want is, first you want to archive these files on Cloud Convert, which is an online file converter. And then you want to upload these files on Google Drive. How would you do that? For this, you will have to integrate these three applications and the same can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Google Sheets and your action applications would be Cloud Convert and Google Drive. Now, the thing is, how can you do it yourself and integrate and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. So to begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Now here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you already have an account with us, you can simply sign in. If you are the new user, then you will have to click on this tab sign up free. It is absolutely free. It will not take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now I'm going to click on sign in. And here we have reached the all applications page. So I'm going to click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. Here we have reached the dashboard of the application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And now a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is to create an archive in Cloud Convert using both upload and import URL methods. Basically what I want is that I have few URLs, few files in Google Sheets. So first I want to archive them in Cloud Convert and then upload on Google Drive. So here I'm going to name this workflow as Cloud Convert to Google Drive integration. And let's click on create. As we do that, we have reached another window which has got two significant events. One is trigger and another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this when this happens and action is do this. So for trigger, I'm going to choose my application as Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event. Now this is the event that will make my workflow start. It would be new or updated spreadsheet row. Now here you can see that you have received a webhook URL. Now this webhook is going to act as a bridge in connecting Pabli Connect and Google Sheets so that the data can be captured in Pabli Connect. I'm going to copy this. Once done, what I have to do is I have to go to the Google Sheet that I've created. So I'm going to take you to the Google Sheet. So this is the sheet that I have created. And here we have the following column fields, name, file type and file link. So these links I have uploaded through WooCommerce. Now here to connect this with Pabli Connect, we will go to extensions, then go to add-ons and then get add-ons. So once you are here, what you have to do is you have to download an application basically install Pabli connect webhooks let's click on this and here you can see that this is already installed on my system so if you haven't got it installed yet please get it installed it will again not take more than two minutes once done let's close this window go back to extensions and here you will find Pabli connect webhooks once you are here go to initial setup let's click on this and here you can see that it has already selected the sheet and now the webhook URL. So I'm going to remove this and paste the URL that I've just copied. Now the trigger column. What is a trigger column? It is the final data column on which our data is added. So if you will look at this link, so we have A column, B column and C column. This is the last column. So it has already been captured. Now let's click on send test. So as soon as we have done that, here we can see that the test data has been sent successfully. Now I'm going to click on submit. Also remember, there is one very important thing that you're supposed to do. As I go to extension and go to Pabli Connect Webhooks, you are always supposed to make sure that the send on event is like, you know, there is a tick in front of it. Basically, this has been selected so that on every event, this workflow will run. Now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and here you can see that we have received the API response. 
this is the name of the video this is the file type and this is the file link this is the name of the spreadsheet sheet name and this is the trigger column now once we are done with this what do i want i want to get these files archive on cloud convert so i'm going to choose my next application as cloud convert let's click on this and now the action event here it would be what do i want i want to create an archive let's click on this and click on connect so once done here public connect is asking to connect itself with the cloud convert account for this i'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with cloud convert i have already logged into my cloud convert account here so if you haven't done that please do that and now you can see that the authorization has been successful so let's come down and here we have to map the data what is mapping basically mapping means that i already have received this information in the previous step like i have received it here and now i'm just going to fill in this information basically retrieve it here let's click on this go to google sheets and this is the file link the url let's click on this then what do we have what do i want file name again i'm going to go down here and if i take you down this is the new video this is the name of the file let's click on this and then the output format also remember that you have to provide the file name including extension and this is in mp4 format so i'm going to write dot mp4 now the output format here let's say it is rar rar file let's click on save and send test request so once done here we have received the information you can see this is the data id status then it is the creation time then public connect import so we have received this information but here we haven't received the link of the url to be uploaded on google drive for this i'm going to add another action step and this is again going to be cloud convert let's click on this and now the action event here would be this time get job details why so i haven't received the url but here i have received the job id remember this that i have received the job id and through this job id i would be able to get the link so now let's click on connect again i'm going to select the existing connection now the job id so i'm going to click on this go to cloud convert and here let's look for the job id so this is the job id i'm going to map this and click on save and send test request so once done let me take you down here and this is the result file url basically this is the file this is the url in rar format which has to be uploaded on google drive and this is your file name right so once we have received this now my next action step would be i want this to be uploaded on google drive so let's look for google drive here and now the action event would be to upload a file let's click on this and click on connect again here public connect is asking to connect itself with the google drive account i'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with google drive here it is asking me for the name of the account so i have selected this and once done let me give it the access yeah here we can see that the authorization has been successful now if i take you down we have to again map the data so first we have to map the url so i'm going to click on this go to the third step and if i take you down to the results url this is the url that we are supposed to map let's click on this then we have to understand the folder id now what is the folder id i'm going to take you to my my drive and now this is my google drive account and let's say that i want this information all these files to be uploaded in this folder now i'm going to open this and as i open this this particular url that we have received here i'm just going to copy this go back to public connect and paste it over here now in this particular url you can see this number after folders this is your folder id so i'm going to delete this part so this is your folder id now the file name so again i'm going to go to step three and if i take you down here this is your file name done let's click on save and send test request so here you can see that we have received the response 
and the result status is shown as success. So I'm going to take you to my Google Drive now and quickly refresh this. And here you can see that my new video dr has been uploaded which basically means that this entire process is a success now what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly go back to google sheets and here i'm going to fill in another information so here i'm going to first take you to my woocommerce account so i'm here and in this media i have these videos let's say i want this particular video to be a part of my google sheet so i'm going to click on this copy this url to clipboard and then go back to this file and i'm going to paste this url over here and the name is new video and the type is again video now this is also this mp4 file once we have received this what should happen as soon as this information is here automatically this should be archived on cloud convert and then should be uploaded on google drive so now i'm going to check my google drive and here you can see new video our file has been created which basically means that this entire integration process is a success now i'm going to take you back to public connect and here let's understand the entire process so that we are crystal clear with what we have done so this is again very easy integration where our trigger application was google sheets and the trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row then our action application was cloud convert where we had chosen the event as create an archive then again we had chosen the action application as cloud convert and this time the event was get job details finally the action application was google drive and here we had chosen our event as upload a file this is just a one-time setup you do not have to repeat this process again and again once you have done this automatically the file that is there the link which is there on google sheets that will be archived on cloud convert and automatically will get uploaded on google drive I hope this is very much easy for you and you have understood it completely. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow. The same workflow that we have worked on is there in the description box. You can just go understand it. Also clone it so that you know you can just start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any other suggestion or advice for us, you can always write to us. I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pabli.com and if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.